What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to my kitchen. Alas, ladies and gents, it's a new week. Here in the US of A, we uh, have a new president as well. At least I think we do. Depends on which news station you're watching. <laughs> but with everything going on, my hope for this country is that we can all unite under one banner. A star-spangled flag blowing in the wind. A picture of Arnold hitting a front double by with the word anabolic sewn in. That, ladies and gentlemen, is my vision for this country. Before I got into fitness, before I got into living the anabolic life, ooh, after a long hard day at work there's nothing that would quench that palate quite like a blizzard from Dairy Queen they got loads of options you got cookie dough you got brownie but my favorite was that sweet sweet butterfinger Mwah. loaded with sugar not enough protein loss of fat it ain't doing us any good but what if I told you you could have your butterfinger and eat it too with no guilt well ladies and gentlemen we're gonna do that today with this recipe we'll be making an anabolic butterfinger blizzard high protein anabolic ice cream ready in a matter of minutes not only is this recipe wicked simple but it's loaded with real Butterfinger. If you've been wanting a blizzard, but you also got a beach vacation scheduled in a few weeks, then look no further than this recipe, man. It just might change your life. And if you have the RJF Anabolic Cookbook, link in my description. It's been updated. This recipe's in there along with every other recipe on the channel, some that aren't, and some that are coming soon. Handy little guide, right in your pocket. Keep yourself anabolic. Keep yourself eating the foods you love. No sacrifice here, man. We ain't sacrificing on this diet. We eat the foods we love, we make results, and that's it. I don't even got nothing else to say. That's it. You get it one time, you get every future recipe for free. So if you guys are ready to get another epic video underway, then as always, man, I'm here to do it for you. Let's do it! Yeah! Guys, I assure you, making anabolic ice cream a blizzard at home has never been easier than this. Let's go. So the first thing we'll do is set a bowl on a food scale and start with our dry ingredients. First thing we need is 31 grams of a vanilla-based whey protein powder. I'm using that Final Boss Cinnamon Toast Swirl. I mean, you can use whatever flavor you want, but I think a vanilla, especially this one, man, is perfect for these recipes. Next up, we need seven grams of sugar-free, fat-free butterscotch jello mix. This is gonna give this a real buttery flavor, man. You're gonna love it. Now we're gonna in about five grams of a zero calorie sweetener. I like sucralose personally. Make it sweet without adding them gut busting calories. And then the secret ingredient that gives this all of its volume that you can't skip is the xanthan gum. We need three grams of this. There's no flavor in this, but it's essential for giving us that volume we want. So that's the dry ingredients. We'll set those to the side. Now our sloppy ingredient, which I already weighed out and pre-portioned, is 85 grams of fat-free plain Greek yogurt. So have this ready and waiting. And then in a measuring cup, I'm gonna weigh out 60 five grams of unsweetened vanilla almond milk. Ends up being about a quarter of a cup if you're not weighing it. And we're also gonna need about 300 grams of ice. And then finally, it wouldn't be a Butterfinger Blizzard without some Butterfinger. What I do is buy these little fun size individual Butterfinger bars. That way I'm not buying a whole bar and throwing part of it away or eating it or eating it. And this recipe calls for 37 grams of Butterfinger, which two of these bars weighs out to. So what I'll do here on top of my dry ingredients is open one of these delicious Butterfingers up and just sit it right in there. We'll save the other one for a topping. So we got all of our ingredients together. Now this might be the most important part. In order to make this right, you gotta have a powerful blender. I use a Ninja blender. This is the $100 one I got at Walmart. Might have even got it on sale for like 90. The link to this exact model is in my description box. I got a list of all my kitchen essentials down there. But if you try this with a cheap $20 blender, it might not work unless you bought the best blender for $20 you can buy, which I still would doubt it. And that may seem like a lot for a blender, but this thing is so versatile and these recipes are so good. I mean, it's one of the best investments I've ever made. Hands now. now we'll just add in our ingredients. We'll start with the wet ones first. We'll put our almond milk down in there. We'll do the ice next. Get that Greek yogurt. And then finally, the dry ingredients with the Butterfinger. Make sure we don't lose any of this. Now all I'm gonna do is blend it on high for about three to four minutes. If I get about two minutes in and there's any buildup on the sides, I'll take a spoon and scrape it off. Not necessary, but I ain't losing any of that Butterfinger personally. So let's get her done, baby. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> And 
boom, check it out guys. There's a little bit of ingredients fill all the way up to here. We have so much ice cream, it's not even funny. You see the chocolate down in there, little Butterfinger pieces. I'm telling y'all, man, if you like Butterfinger blizzards, this guy is a hit. And if you're a savage, you can eat it right out of the blender. But we got a thumbnail to take, so I'm gonna put it in a cup. So I'll just slowly spoon it in here. And then once your cup, bowl, or whatever is filled up, break up the rest of your Butterfinger bar. And you can just decorate the top with it to make it look pretty. And if you don't wanna mess with this, man, just blend the other bar up in your ice cream. It's not gonna make that much of a difference. I just gotta make sure mine looks pretty so you guys watch, hit that thumbs up button, and subscribe to the channel, man. And boom, our anabolic Butterfinger Blizzard ready in a matter of minutes. You eat this thing, you're gonna be stuffed, your cravings are gonna be gone, it's gonna keep you moving, man, onto your goals. So let me get in here and show you guys this texture. So if I get in, grab a bite like this, oh my goodness, look at that, man. Ooh, I'm telling you, man, skip the drive through skip the Dairy Queen, make this at home, and I promise you won't regret it, and your body's gonna thank you for it. All right, man, we've been staring at it long enough. I think it's time to pull up a chair, strap on the old feedback, and try this thing together. You guys ready? Let's go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's get down to business. This really was my favorite Blizzard growing up and my favorite candy. I don't think they still make them, but they had like Butterfinger BBs. Anybody remember those? They were like circle Butterfingers. Ate a lot of them. Played a lot of games, drank a lot of Mountain Dew. So wasn't putting that best foot forward, but I'm gonna do that actually right now. Scoop of greens, keep that doctor away. You know what I mean? <clears throat> I never take these and not get them everywhere. Oh my goodness. Available at FinalBossFormance.com. Use code RJF10 for 10% off, baby. Along with any of the apparel, man. Cut them sleeves off off and show them what you're working with. All right, it's showtime, baby. You already know what we're working with here. Let me get one of these big, chunky spoons. Get a load of that, bud. I don't know about you, but to me, that looks like the perfect bite. Three, two, one, let go. I mean, I know a lot of y'all like that Oreo McFlurry I did. It's good, but if you like Butterfinger, ooh, it ain't even a contest. Wow. Obviously, when you have the candy pieces, it's incredible. But the ice cream itself, got that bar blended up down in there. So that flavor has been spread out through the ice cream. So the ice cream itself has a Butterfinger flavor. Then we use the butterscotch pudding mix, which adds a little buttery flavor to it as well. And overall, man, this is uh, my new favorite, hands down. And the thing about a recipe like this, right? Let's say you don't like Butterfinger. Subtract the Butterfinger, throw in 37 grams of your candy bar of choice, Kit Kat, Snickers, a York peppermint patty if you're a monster, and make your own combinations, man. The foundation is there. Like in my cookbook, like with my recipes, I give you guys the foundations. The goal is to get you guys in that kitchen and whipping something up, man. If you don't like a recipe exactly how I make it, play with it a little bit. Tweak it, man. You got the base. You got the foundation, man. Add, add your little touch of personality to it and make it yours. I know I say this in all these videos, but these are a tool. The fact that they're so low calorie, so high protein, and so filling makes it the perfect thing to have right before bed. If you're prone to binge eating at night, have this as your final meal. Or if you're gonna go out and you know there's gonna be temptation, let's say you're going to the fair, fried food everywhere, right? Eat one of these before you go. You're gonna be stuffed. You're gonna keep those calories low. You're gonna have that protein going. You're not gonna succumb to the temptations. And you got to satisfy that sweet craving, right? Because we, we are getting Butterfinger in this. We're just not eating the entire pack of them. We're not eating two bars of Butterfinger, getting no protein and still being hungry after. The goal is make better choices, man. Because I don't see how we can lose when we're eating foods like this. Just doesn't seem possible to me. So in this entire Butterfinger Blizzard, if you make it exactly how I did it, what you end up with is for the whole thing, 377 calories, only nine grams of fat, 35 grams of protein, 39 grams of carbs, four grams of fiber. And keep in mind too, this isn't all that we got. There's still some left there in the blender. You probably get about one and a half, two of these massive cups. That's a big cup. That's bigger than the largest size you're gonna get at Dairy Queen. If Dairy Queen was giving you regular blizzards this size, people would be dying. You'd barely make it out of the parking lot and you'd go into a diabetic coma. But this way, we get our volume, we get to feel full after eating it, right? We're getting protein in there, we're cutting way down on that sugar, and we're still getting some of the candy we love. This is what winning looks like, people. Mm. People ask me all the time, are these recipes uh, appropriate for children? And as much as I'm not a doctor, all I'm saying is I don't see how these couldn't be any good when you're driving them through McDonald's multiple times a week, when you're letting them eat nothing but candy, right? I think you start these habits early. Let them eat foods they love. Show them that food can taste good and still be good for you at the same time. You can still work on getting high volume foods with lower calories, more protein, right? I grew up in a household that uh, didn't do that at all. I had to teach myself and it wasn't until I was in my mid twenties when I 
I really started figuring all this stuff out, man. So I wish I had that guiding light when I was younger, but a lot of people just don't know. So what I'm trying to do with this channel is show you guys that um, being healthy, building muscle, being lean, eating foods you love isn't impossible. It's not. You just got to make the better choices, man. That, that's it. That's it. And you already know, RJF Anabolic Cookbook, link in description. This recipe has been added, man. You get this thing one time, right? One time. Every time I drop a new recipe on the channel, I add it to the book. You just re-download the most updated copy. It's free every time once you get it once. And uh, you're right there in the game, man. Take it to the grocery store with you. It can be your shopping list. Figure out the meals you want to eat that week. You know the exact quantities, the calories, the macros, everything, man. I break it down, make it so freaking simple. All you got to do is do it. Appreciate you guys, as always, for watching. Hopefully, you guys make this one. I really want you to, man. I think these right here can be a game changer, especially if you're a binge eater and you like to eat until you are really full. This will help with that. And tomorrow, for me, is a really big day. The new Xbox comes out. I'm going to go pick it up, and I'm going to go play the same stuff I'm playing on my Xbox right now because nothing is coming out for it that I couldn't just play on what I got now. But oh well, you win some, you lose some, man. Let me know down below what console you're getting. Are you team PS5 or team Xbox Series X? Always like to find out how much of my audience I'd get along with in real life, you know? <laughs> Smash that thumbs up, comment anything down below, subscribe if you're not subscribed, and until next time, ladies and gentlemen, I will see each and every one of you at the next video. See you guys. I still got half a blizzard here, bud. I'm getting full. Mmm, gotta love that butterfinger.